Uh, for those of you uh, that don't know, and obviously you all do from the sign that's up here, we're here this morning to uh, to celebrate the designation of the Dominguez Escalante National Conservation Area. Uh, to say the very least, this came through a, a lot of hard work and dedication and efforts of so many people over so many years. We're going to be talking and uh, celebrating with those folks here this morning. The, the list is long as far as those that worked on this. The list is also long of those that are, are uh, special guests here this morning. Uh, we hope to recognize a few of those here uh, today. Please join with me in welcoming S Secretary Salazar this morning. Thank you. Let me uh, first of all say that I come here to uh, the Dominguez Escalante Canyon and to the celebration of uh, Delta, Montrose, and Mesa counties and all the people who've made this possible today with uh, a great sense of uh, humility and also pride. Uh, this is home. Uh, this is home. You know, over the last three days, I've been in the Apostle Islands in Wisconsin and in the wildlife refuges of Minnesota and at Glacier National and Waterton uh, Peace Park uh, between the Canadian border and uh, Montana. Uh, and as wonderful as those places are, as beautiful as those places are, there is no place like Colorado. I love this place. You live in God's country. And as we move forward with uh, our efforts on these uh, treasured landscapes, it's important for us always to remember two things. Uh, the first is that uh, our landscapes, in fact, are economic generators. Uh, they are important to great jobs that come from hunting and fishing. There are millions, in fact, uh, uh, hundreds of millions of jobs that are created from the landscapes and the tourism that uh, comes to these places, hunters and uh, anglers and uh, ranchers and uh, wildlife watchers and rafters and so many others who are part of these landscapes of western Colorado and here at Dominguez Escalante are part of the contribution to that economic well-being of our country. And that will in fact continue to be the case. And uh, it was a recognition that when we take care of our special places, when we take care of the outdoors, when we take care of our rivers, when we take care of our communities and we clean up places and we create community separators, that we are really creating a legacy, uh, not only for our children and our grandchildren, but really for the better economic times of, of our community. We have uh, over 300 uh, square miles of land uh, with all of its grandeur and all of its beauty uh, and all of its wildlife and all of its historic human uses that will be celebrated uh, forever. It means that uh, your children, our grandchildren, and uh, for centuries to come, they'll be able to come to this place and uh, be able to find uh, the treasured uh, landscape that is here, but also to refuel their spirits on the, the history and uh, on the uh, opportunities of, of just being in the outdoors. So uh, I congratulate all of you who have uh, worked on this wonderful template. So the people who are part of this great place, the Dominguez Escalante National Conservation Area, you will always be able to come back and to refuel your spirit. And in that same vein, so too will your children. They will come back here and they will refuel your spirit. And it is part of what will make America great. It is part of why America is great today. And it is why I have such great optimism that no matter what issues we confront as a country, no matter what issues we confront as a country, no matter how tough they are, that the best days of the United States of America are still ahead of us. Thank you all very, very much.